Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to Season 8 of Trick House. We are back and this time we are actually in the Gengar Division due to manual promotion. So this is probably going to be the toughest uh, league I've ever played in. Um, you guys can see the coaches here. I know the logos aren't all filled in yet because they're still updating it. But there's just a ton of great coaches and I think this is by far going to be the hardest um, you know, competition for me. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, no matter what league I play in, uh, my goal is always just to make the playoffs because that means you're in the top half. So that's what we're going to do. So here is just all the rosters if you guys want to take a quick peek at them. Um, but we're actually going up against Rai first, which is pro he's probably... Honestly, I think he might be the best coach in this league. I'm not sure. I mean, he's won everything. He's won leagues. He's won team tours. So he's just really, really good, and he's been really good for a while. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the matchup real quick. And then this is... So this is our team first. Um, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it to be honest because um, a couple of snipes happen but it's not the worst um, basically how the terrors work in this league is you get 20 points um, for two or just one terror captain so he trained was 14 points or choreo was six points so i was able to terror both of them and then there's obviously pokemon like dragapult which you cannot terra and palafin as well and so yeah his team is um pretty fast like look at his top four um this matchup is in draft order not speed order because there is a speed uh <laughs> there's a speed column right in the middle um but yeah his team's a uh, pretty insane iron bundle with terra is really really hard to switch into um you know i have blissey which is probably like the best special i guess wally if you want to say but the thing is bundle just gets you turn and flip turn so he could just flip turn into like sneezler and then as I go Blissey, then I'm in big trouble. So he's got a really good pairing. And Amorous Eye and Cyclozar is also really, really solid. Cyclozar can use that Shed Tail move, which basically gives you a substitute for costing 50% of your health. Um, but that does have Regenerator too. So you really only need to spend like 17%, to be honest. Uh, and then he just has really great backbone with Rotom, Luxine, uh, Crook. He does have that one point Terra Crocolore, which is the um, baby Skeleturge with the Unaware. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's coming this game. So. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do for this se uh, season, guys, is I'm going to do a team builder and then the battle. I'm basically just going to make the team builder video and then just merge them together. What I would normally do is just do a quick like recap of the team I built, but I'm going to spend a little bit more time on the team builders to kind of explain what I'm doing here. And then I'll go into the live battle, you know, when that happens. I believe we're playing tomorrow, though. So, um, so yeah, when I'm building this team, man, I'm, I'm pretty much... I feel like he's got way too much offense for me to just kind of like offense and momentum too. Like even his like his more defensive Pokemon, they get momentum. Um, so I feel like I typically like to build balance, but in this type of matchup, I feel like if I have balance, his offense is just gonna out pressure me. And that's pretty much how Gen Nine is with Terra. It's definitely a more offensive generation compared to um, Eight. Um, eight, you always had like teleport everywhere, boots, regen everywhere. So it's definitely more balanced or even more defensive. Um, but Gen 9 is the opposite pretty much. So first thing I did on this team is I put Dragapult on the team. Um, I mean, I don't think Dragapult's ever not going to come. That's how good it is. And it does outspeed everything. So uh, I'll just show you guys the sets as I go. You guys can see the six I'm bringing. So I went with boots on Pult. Um, I just need to keep Pult basically as healthy as possible, and he does have spikes. He does have toxic spikes, and of course he does have a couple of rockers. So I needed boots, and then the coverage I went for was just stab T-Bolt U-turn. Um, I believe that hits pretty much everything. T-Bolt does a lot of damage to uh, to Bundle and Enamorous. Now I know Bundle can Terra, um, and I'm assuming he's going to Terra. I don't know what he's going to turn into. I, I got a feeling it might be grass because I feel like it might be grass or it might just straight up be water um, because I feel like he's going to want to turn into something that still resists jet punch. Um, so I feel like Terra, water or grass. The, other, the only one that doesn't resist jet punch that I, that I might see is um, electric. Actually, I think electric isn't bad. Um, because I have the Yachi Berry on Palafin and I don't know if he might think that, but Actually, no, that doesn't really make sense because I would just jet punch and I'm pretty sure jet punch like Oko's bundle. So, no, I'm, I'm going to say he's going to tear probably water or grass. But regardless, um, Dragapult stabs plus T-Bolt pretty much hits everything. 
Um, I would have to obviously just Shadow Ball Klefki instead of running like something like Flamethrower. And then Crook, I would just U-turn on uh, if he's not in Draco Meteor range. And then Shadow Ball is pretty solid for everything else too. So Bolt is just a nice speed. It does have um, Infiltrator as well because he does have the Shed Tail Pokemon. Um, so if he like Shed Tails into um, something, I could just obviously hit through the substitute. So pretty standard Bolt, though nothing crazy there. I am just timid, um, enough speed to outspeed Bundle um, under all circumstances. Um, I could creep, you know, bundle creeping Meow Scarada, but I feel like that's so not worth it in case he does kind of call that and then go faster. So this is a pretty basic Dragapult set. Next we have Palafin, um, a very as well basic Palafin set. We are running Yachi Berry just for the sheer fact of the freeze dry. I could take the freeze dry, no problem. Drain Punch, get the health all back and then basically kill the bundle. Um, we're pretty much running no speed on this guy. Um, we don't really need speed, to be honest. I don't think Rotom, I don't think Uxie is going to run that much speed. And if they do it, it shouldn't be enough to be like, you know, a couple speed above Palafin. It doesn't really make sense to me. So I'm very bulky. Um, the reason why I have pretty much max HP instead of in my defenses is because when Palafin goes into the hero form, he gets a lot more defenses and speed up. So... I just figured um, max attack and then pretty much max HP as well. Again, you need Jet Punch there for things like Sneasler. I mean, Jet Punch just does a lot to everything in general. And then Drain Punch is just going to be my hardest way to hit the... Uh... Actually, I think Wave Crash actually does more to Rotom than Drain Punch. But yeah, all I need is Drain Punch and Water Moves. Um, bulk Up is there just in case um, I see an opportunity. But I don't really know if that's going to happen this game. I think just attacking is probably going to be the way to go. And again, um, I can't terror this guy. Heat Train is one of my terror caps that I am bringing. I'm actually bringing both terror captains, so he's not going to know which one I plan to terror. It is going to be Heat Train more than likely. So I am running um, Flame Body, of course, because he doesn't have you know anything that goes for fire moves anyway. And then Flame Body is a chance to get that Sneasler burned, because I do have the Chopper Berry, so I will live a close combat if he's not boosted. Um, we are Terra Grass. Terra Grass is really solid here um, because let's say I'm in versus Bundle. He's going to have to pick either a water move or an ice move uh, if I'm going to Terra or not. So it's kind of like a 50-50. As well as it lets me take on um, Rotom pretty easily. Um, Rotom can't really do anything to me if I'm Terra Grass. He can just Volt Switch out. It's no problem. And then I could also resist uh, an Earthquake from Crocodile um, if I'm in front of it. So he's going to have to just like kind of pick if I'm going to Terra or not. So I might come down to that type of play um, but I'm actually an offensive um, heat train flame charge is enough speed to outspeed the bundle speed creeping meow scarada I couldn't go enough speed to outspeed just bundle in general well I could but I wanted to go um... wait actually I don't know if I could Hold on, let me double check heat train uh, max speed plus one okay so I could why did I do that? I did this investment for some reason. I think I needed the ADHP for something. I'm not sure. I don't remember that. I built this team a couple days ago. So, but we should still outspeed Bundle uh, Speed Creeping uh, Meow Scarada, which he really should. And Meow Scarada, I, I really wanted to bring Meow Scarada, man. Like, it outspeeds everything but Bundle, and then it could Sucker Punch Bundle. You know, it does a lot of damage to Uxie, Rotom, Crook. It could run Brick Break for Screens, Cleffy, as well as hitting Cyclozar, so... And then maybe even Thunder Punch. Like, it, it has a decent matchup, Meow Scarada, but... There was just... I really want to bring 8 out of the, my 9 Mons. I just didn't want to bring Quillfish, but... I just felt like I needed everything else on the team, so... He might overprep for Meow Scarada, I don't really know. Um, but I couldn't bring it. I had it on the team first, and then I took it off, so... But yeah, back to Heatran. He train is pretty solid. If I get that plus one speed, um, I just have stab and then terror blast for grass. That pretty much hits everything. Um, so if things are chipped, that's another win con. I could go with Heat Trend, I could go with Oracorio, or I can go with Palafin. I got pretty much three quote unquote win conditions that set up um, if I chip things down. So I feel like um, I gotta just find the right opportunity with Heat Trend and then just go for the flame charge and try to basically do as much damage as possible or clean the game. I was debating running Flamethrower over Magma Storm just because I, I swear Magma Storm always misses. Um, but hopefully I'm not going to have to click it that much. Like, I would basically click Magma Storm versus... Cr 
Crook, and then obviously it does the most damage to like Oopsie and um, Sneasler, but if those things are chipped, then Flash Cannon still actually does decent damage to them as well. So, as well as Cyclozar and, and um, Klefki. So, I feel like hopefully I won't have to click Magma Storm too much in this game. Next, we have Fizz Def um, Landers Therian. This is my Sneasler check. Um, it's pretty much my only Sneasler check on the entire team. Um, and I'm running the Lumberry because Sneezler's lovely Dire Claw slash Poison Touch. I think it has like a 60% chance to do one of the three statuses on me. So I'm just going to assume I'm going to get status on the first um, hit. So I'm going to run Lumberry. I was going to run Covert Cloak. Um, that does block Dire Claw, but it doesn't block the Poison Touch. So I just feel like I'll just use Lumberry as a one-time thing to, you know, dodge a status and then get our Brocks and hopefully Landers can... Uh, handle Sneasler for as long as it can before it kind of gets out of control because Sneasler is one of those Pokemon that can literally just sweep a team um, if you're not careful with it so pretty standard set um, EQ Stone Edge U-turn and Rocks um, Stone Edge is for the uh, what's that thing called Enamorous and then Earthquake pretty much hits everything else and then U-turn is just for these two guys uh, Oopsie and Rotom he doesn't have he only has um Cyclos are rapid spin for removal, so hopefully I can get the rocks up and they'll stay. I do think Cyclos is coming with Chad Tail, Rapid Spin, and then probably two other moves, maybe U Turn and Draco or something. Or I don't know if it gets Earth uh, Ground coverage for Heatran, but I do think uh, Cyclos is coming. But it, rocks should be pretty free versus um, versus Sneasler. He can't really do much to me because he's not a Steric Captain. All right, then we have Oracorio. So Oracorio and Type Null are probably my two favorite like low tier Pokemon. I've won you know more than one chip with both of them actually. And so we're running Quiver Dance, Taunt, Air Slash, Roost. So I am running Mono Air Slash, which means I can't hit Rotom and Klefki too hard. But that's okay because if I'm Quiver Dance up versus those two guys, um, they can't do much to me. I'm gonna. It was either between Revelation Dance with the Electric type or Taunt. The reason I went with Taunt is because I can block a trick from Rotom. I can block a trick from Uxi. I can block an Encore from Uxi. And if I'm Quiver Dancing up, I can just Quiver Dance Roost on those guys, no problem. Um, the only thing that can kind of screw this set over is the Switcheroo from Klefki because he'll be Prankster, so he'll go first. But I mean, I feel like that's fine that's like a specific thing that has to happen to stop this guy um his only like physical attacker really is Sneasler and then he's got Crook um but obviously if I get one Quiver Dance up Sneasler is gonna die to Air Slash Crook will most likely drop to plus two Air Slash um but to be honest even if I do like you know 60 70 percent to him he's not gonna be able to Oko me unless he's I'm like chipped dirty so and I can also flinch him and all that stuff the reason why I have Terra Poison on here, I don't really plan on terroring this guy, but in case I have to, I have Terra Poison because Poison resists both of Sneasler's stabs, and I feel like Sneasler is going to be the Pokemon that he tries to um, kind of revenge us with um, if he's Scarfed. If he's not Scarfed and I'm plus one, he's going to die to Air Slash anyway, but I feel like... Um, but I feel like I should Terra into something that one of his two physical attackers don't really do a lot of damage to it because again most of his team is special so if I'm Quiver Dancing boosting boosting up um, they're not going to do much damage to me anyway I do know Enamorous can run the physical like contrary superpower set with play rough that is that is another thing that can kind of you know not I don't want to say it's going to stop this because if I'm plus one and he goes Enamorous Air Slash can do a lot to it anyway um, and he would he have to like play rough me so it shouldn't do too much damage anyway because I'll be faster so I feel like just Mono Air Slash is okay in this matchup. Again, I know Rotom and Klefki resist it, but Rotom, in my opinion, cannot do anything. If I'm plus one, plus one, all he's going to do is slow vote switch out because uh, I'm going to taunt him to make sure he can't trick or anything. So I feel like this set has a really good chance of um, sweeping the team. Again, kind of like similar like Heatran. If I can get stuff chipped, I feel like either Heatran or Corio has a good chance of um, sweeping the team and then of course Screamtail is going to be there to help with them with setting up as I'm running dual screens uh, D-Gleam, Wish um, just mostly Spit Death with the Light Clay 
reason I went with Dazzling Gleam is just because he only has two resists. Klefki, which is going to be the probable one that comes. And then Crocolore, which is probably not coming. So, um, I feel like I'm just going to probably click Light Screen right away. Because, um, again, most of his team is special. And then hopefully get the Reflect up and then go into uh, either Tran, maybe even Palafin or Oracoria to kind of break the team. Potentially get up the screens a second time for the other one to hopefully... Um, do some damage and um, win the game. So that is going to be our week one team builder. I have no idea how long this has been, but that's just kind of my thought process of, uh, you know, going into building stuff. Um, again, I really wanted to bring Meow Scarada. I It's it outspeeds everything, like I said, but I just feel like I need everything else on the team. I also had Blissey on the team over, uh, over... Screamtail, but I went with Screamtail screens because um, I feel like it could be definitely better. And then what the thing that sucked about Bliss Blissey was if I threw Blissey in versus like Bundle or Rotom and they just U-turn, flip turn, roll switch, or whatever, and they go into Sneasler, I'm kind of screwed with Blissey on the field. So um, I feel like Screamtail is a little bit better in that situation um, because he doesn't just have a free CC. He's going to have to probably click uh, poison Jab, and then Landers will take, you know, pretty much no damage. So, that is the team, guys. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I have, like, a dedicated lead. I'm probably going to end up leading with Palavin just to get the hero form right away. Well, not right away, but get him in. Because, again, his two biggest threats, um, Bundle and... Bundle and Sneasler, I could just switch into these two guys versus them, so it's not a big deal. And the Palafin form is obviously going to be very helpful. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the battle. Peace. Alright guys, it is time for the battle. I'm going to go ahead and send Rai the challenge. Here is the matchup one more time. And I want to see what he does not bring. I'm going to assume no Crocolore. Everything else, honestly, I can see him bringing. Um, maybe no Uxie too, because I do have Dragapult plus Meowskarada. So... But I'm not sure what the, his last bench is going to be. We're hoping for no Terra, <clears throat> no Terra Water um, on the bundle because if he leads Terra, ugh, it is Terra Water. All right, so because it's Terra Water bundle, I have to lead Screamtail. So if I lead Palafin and he's like Specs Water, he two shot Screamtail. So I have to. So I have to lead Screamtail like pretty much right away to get the light screen up to help that Mr. Bundle. So let's do that. <clears throat> so no Uxie and then no... Uh, what was the last Pokemon he didn't bring? Cyclozar? No Cyclozar. So he doesn't have a way to remove hazards, which is good. As he does lead with Bundle right away to get that Terra off. So I'm just going to light screen. As he does flip turn. Now he could definitely be specs or an offensive side. I don't think he's going to be boots. <clears throat> in comes Klefki. I'm going to go into Heatran here right away. Try to get some damage going. <clears throat> so I could just throw off a Magma Storm here. His play isn't to Rotom Wash. Let me see if Heatran kills Rotom Wash from basically like full from Terra. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm just gonna go for a Magma Storm. And that is why I uh, dislike Magma Storm as I said in the builder, but it's all good. So we just get his light screen up. <clears throat> Probably gonna go into Rotom here if I had to guess. Nah, he goes Sneasler. So I still do good damage to him, but my play is into Landorus for sure. <clears throat> As he does go for a CC, and that does basically nothing. So I'm gonna go for Rocks here. As he goes Crook, that's all good. And he's probably gonna go for. His own stealth rock, if I had to guess. Yep. And 
I'm gonna use the opportunity to get in my hero form. <clears throat> Let me actually see. Uh, wait, what's Palafin's speed in baby form? Mm, I doubt baby Palafin kills Crocodile, but I'm gonna check because I think I'm gonna be faster. Um, it should actually. I'm gonna go for Wave Crash. I don't want to hard swap and let something get knocked off. As he does go Rotom, okay. Let's see if he's Helmet. He's not Helmet. Okay, and I did 19. Let me cut that damage. Rotom, Wash. <clears throat> okay, so he's physical. He's physically defensive. That's his uh, Palafin answer. All right, good to know. Um, he's gonna click Volt Switch here. I think. What's the play here? Go into Scream Tail. <clears throat> As he does, just volt out. Should bring in. Yeah, he does bring Sneasler in. I have to go Landorus. the U-turn. In comes Mr. Bundle now. <clears throat> yeah, this thing is going to be offensive. Okay, I'm going to sack Screamtail here. <clears throat> um, let's see. Iron Bundle. Let me see if Palafin can live... Let's just say he's expert belt. Modest. 40 to 48, right? I'll go to 58, 46. If he's expert belt modest, <clears throat> it's in my favor to live. You know, <clears throat> you know, I just realized I don't even do that much to him because he's water type. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Um... Okay, let's go Dragapult here. And let's just go for Shadow Ball. Expecting Klefki or Crook. So he could be scarfed. <clears throat> Just kidding. Um, Shadow Ball did 14. Let's see. Crocodile. 14. Okay, he is like spit death as hell. Okay, so he's minus one. Draco, it's like a 50 50 roll to kill him here. Mmm. I'm just going to turn. <clears throat> I still think Heatran plus Oricoria have a good shot to clean the game here. The, <clears throat> the light screen is going to be a bit of a problem, but it's all good. <clears throat> That's why I really wanted to get that Magma Storm damage on um, Klefki early, but it's all good. It goes for foul play and it does a lot of damage. Hmm. It's gonna earthquake. He's he's actually faster than me, so he can just foul play again. <clears throat> well I'm gonna U-turn actually, I'm not gonna 
case he switches, but if he just stays and he kills me. Ugh. Yeah, he's doing pretty good here. I'm not I'm not making too much progress to be honest, but we'll see, we'll see. This game might come down to if he's got such a run Klefki to stop one of my setup mons. But if Klefki, oh yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. If he kills me, I'm gonna go with Oracorio to try and set up here. Taken a bit. I'm not sure why. I, maybe he's like thinking about if he kills me here, like if I can set up with something on him. Go for quiver dance. <clears throat> okay, let's see if he's choice scarfed. Let's see. Iron bundle. So he should die. Um, choice scarfed. Ice beam does not kill me, but yeah, let's just go for air slash. <clears throat> Need one million percent dies if I hit. Maybe Terra Water. Nah, Terra. He flip turns, so he is actually faster. Okay, so he's scarfed. <clears throat> I think. I'm technically not like faster than max speed, but he should be speed creeping me out, So we'll see what he goes into here. So I'm either going to have to roost or I'm going to have to quiver dance one more time. Because now he can just go into bundle again. And Ice Beam will kill me. What about Freeze Dry? Freeze Dry is 62 to 73. So that should pick me off too. It looks like it at least. Hmm. Yeah, there's a very small chance I live free try. Ice Beam always kills me. I don't want to Terra here because he could just pump and pump will, or yeah, pump will kill me. And then I don't have my grass for this guy, which I think I need. So I have a couple of options here. I don't know if I should really save this guy. Palafin is still useful. On the off chance that he doesn't kill me somehow, I'm gonna Quiver Dance. But he should kill me with Pump or Ice Move. Okay, so he flip turns again, so now I'm gonna be faster. Uh, 
Um, so he could be Scarfed. Let me see. I mean, I think I just Roost here. And then I just start Air Slashing away if he tricks me. Oh, uh, let me see. Rotom. Wash. He was, no, he was Fizz Def. He's not going to have Trick. What is he going to do? He was Fizz Def, so let me see. Plus two. Pump. I'm going to Roost. See if he's got Trick. Yeah, he does have Trick. Okay. Let's just go for Air Slash now. And he has to go into Klefki. Yeah, he does go Klefki. I'm just gonna stay in an Air Slash. <clears throat> oh, we're getting flinches. There's a play rough. But I think this is. Hey, yeah, this is okay. Here comes a light screen. And let's play rough again. Or air slash again, rather. He's got he's got T wave. Okay, that's a good bring. I mean, there's a chance that uh, actually, if he scarfed into, uh, pretty sure I think he wins with bundle. Dang, if I taunted the uh, the Rotom there with our Corio, I won, I think. But pump killed me, so it was hard to. Uh, I should have taunted because I feel like Roost was very obvious and he wasn't just going to go for Hydro Pump and let me win. <clears throat> okay, so I have no reason not to... Is he going to Volt Switch into Enamorous? I don't know. I'm going to... I'm gonna tear a flash cannon. No, he just. <clears throat> let's flame charge again. Actually, no. Let's let's just terror blast. <clears throat> How much do I do with Palafin to bundle? Holy crap, iron bundle. Not that much. If the thingy is scarfed, this guy, enamorous, I lose anyway. It's a moon blast. Let's see if he makes the enamorous play now. <clears throat> yeah, he does. Um, he's actually Boots. So, how much does Dragapult do to this guy? Not enough. Let's go for Flash Cannon. These Boots. Okay, so we get the kill. Here comes Bundle, though. Um, I mean, we just Terror Blast. Freeze Dry. I think he's Scarfed. Let me see, Drag up, uh, Iron Bundle. Uh, Palafin, Hero. 
freeze dry if he's modest. 33 to 40. I should be out of range. Terra water. Drain punch into jet punch kills him, so I think I have to go palaf in here and just drain punch. <clears throat> and then Jet Punch should kill him. Uh, I'm definitely faster, I think. So I'm just gonna wave crash. <clears throat> I should be faster. And then Pult should be able to clean the game. Shadow Ball. So GG to Rye, man. Really close way. Really close game to start the season. 1-0. Um, These are the type of games I really like to play. Um, I definitely messed up with Oracorio, though. I should have taunted on the trick. I even said it. Um, if I taunted on the trick and then just roosted up, I think Oracorio probably won the game. I'm not going to lie. So, But GG to Rye, man. Uh, hopefully, we play again in the playoffs. Good luck for the rest of the season. And I think we play Theo next week, so that should be a good one. I'll see you guys then. Peace.